Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Cesar bringing us another episode of redesigning your projects episode number 15 So basically where I just take your products and redesign them. I'm not gonna lie I think I went kind of cracked on some of these products Of course you guys can be the judges, but I'm not gonna leave you guys too long enjoy the episode and hope you guys learn something Okay, so the first product here is a hype graphic designed by Scaro. It looks like to be like some sort of like grand finals like hype image with like Team Frost and like Genesis versus each other, which is pretty cool. So first things first, so I think the immediate thing I noticed the most was how cool the right hand side alone looks like right here in this sort of like square ratio. Um, this post ratio for me kind of just says this is all you really needed. The left hand side was kind of like whatever. So for me, went ahead and just took a bunch of different screenshots. I think some of these are gonna be probably useful, hopefully. And uh, we're just gonna go from there. I have no idea. Okay, so to start this, oh, f I'm just getting over being sick, okay, geez. Okay, so to start this off, I'm gonna go ahead and just say to myself, the immediate thing that I saw these two screenshots in particular, this Doom Fist graphic right here, this image, and this sort of like, mouse looking thing right here right i think these two are really good at kind of showcasing like a very generic idea of head to head so i'm gonna go ahead and cut these guys out the real question is am i gonna have to pen tool this because lord knows i don't want to do that 20 minutes later okay so now these bad boys cut out what i can find myself doing is saying to myself if i push this like over here i put this like like whatever this ham it's a hamster it's a hamster. Right, they sort of look like they're about to face off. I feel like this eye level ratio is pretty good. I'm gonna actually use a rule really quick to see if I can actually really match the eyes. Do I immediately wanna just add in a bunch of different characters like Tracer, someone like this? Does it feel like he's on his team? You know what I mean? Does it feel like there's a team fight going on right now? Maybe, sort of, kind of. Okay, so now after copying the information, I feel like this looks pretty good. The way he actually had it laid out, I think it was probably the strongest part of the composition. It looked really, really good. There's something about this that makes a lot of sense to me. Now, of course, I want to make sure I maintain that original thought that he had. So I kind of like, I love the typography there. He also has like a picture in the background here that seems to be some sort of map. Like, I also kind of appreciate the sort of like blue on one side, red on the other side. I can probably incent uh, like accentuate that. Accent accentuate? Yep. My question is, if I were to go ahead and do this, if I were to go over here and go to like curves, now I'm pretty sure if I hold alt and click on auto here and go to fine lights and darks, choose my shadows and start clicking around where the shadows would be for here and then where the actual highlight tones would be something like some somewhere around like here maybe okay we can kind of sort of feel out what the environment should kind of feel like if we were it was if it was actually in this state this feels more appropriate now if i take the same as that curve put on everyone now i might even say to myself all these curves i'm gonna lower down to like 60 percent just kind of like make them blend a little bit more so they keep their same sort of like colors a little bit i think for this here there's a lot of empty space going down right here so should i stack the words grand finals so that way it feels you know kind of fills up the space a little bit more like this like grand finals like this right oh man that's pretty freaking big so it's elo hell yeah, i guess is the like sort of brand kind of name maybe there's a universe we can kind of like put some kind of hashtag in it like fight to the death or Hmm. Now, for me, even something like the words for the win is pretty good for this. I don't know. It feels kind of like corny, but I also think in a universe, hashtags are kind of corny in general. But like something like this, kind of like for the win, spelt like this, feels pretty cool. Or like even in the middle here. Let's just say if we leave it there for a second, there's these obvious moments where it's just kind of like if I don't give this a try to put highlights and shadows on this, I'm probably going to be a little bit upset on myself. I'm going to take a levels here and kind of like take this a little bit further to the right over here. Then on this side, it should be a little more lighter since the light's kind of hitting this way. Now, I actually might actually switch to curves for this rather than like uh, levels. I feel like levels a little bit too weird. Okay, here's this sort of like blue tone that's going on here. Let's make it a little more kind of like lighter for the lights. So now, it's very minimal so far, but I think if I add another new layer here just one more time, make the brush a little bit bigger this time, but make it on like maybe like a 20% opacity. And I give it one more pass. We might get a lot of that cool light kind of feeling a lot more epic and a lot more prominent. Does the light kind of feel a little bit more better now? Like, is it displaced correctly? Like, I think maybe even taking this, put it on like a little bit of Gaussian Blur 2 on our like hard edge here. Like, I'm not all that sure. And for the record, I actually even color corrected these guys all at all. I, I, I personally like to put a lot of shadows in it. I think Genji looks pretty freaking dope. But again, it's Doomfist. I'm not kind of like falling in love with here now i don't know if it's because doomfist needs to be darker in the sense of like shadow wise like if i actually stop messing with doomfist for a second if i go over here to uh the the, the hamster looking thing and i go over here and say to myself okay i want to put the nice dark tone on this as well we delete this mask here make it a little bit more darker and then we take this in ourselves and we basically say that all this light 
is just hitting right here i think it helped a little bit it's just a very it's like a very minuscule amount but there's something about the depth of genji and then like the foreground doesn't feel as much now it could be because actually i haven't added any sort of like extra additional lights at all so if i were to take this to myself make sure i put a genji above everything besides doom fist you know and then i actually make a new layer here and kind of like follow this one light that's happening like so i'm gonna even make it a little bit more brighter at the top just like so and then i'll go ahead and just take a nice little eraser for a second now this is probably not how you should do it but i'm just gonna do it this way for a second i threw it on divide for a second now is it me or would this be kind of sick if this was distorted so that way it kind of only went through this guy's eye right here and like this person's eye over here hear me out is that like, is that cool or no am i tripping or is this like a cool idea complete accident but cool idea so like does that look cool or no like i feel like it might look a little bit too kind of like like what's the point kind of scenario okay so then if it doesn't actually happen that way we need to also make sure we kind of like purposely put these sort of glows where it should kind of go like something like this right and if i go again with this color scheme for a second and i go over here to like a linear dodge add and maybe the light just kind of slowly slowly curves over him a little bit something like that right and then if i take another sort of like an additional blue kind of light over here right and then her all of her hair should obviously have that light too so there was my best efforts at outlining that right there but if i give it a little bit of a soft glow or a soft light touch right there i mean probably not right but you know we're we're trying right and then over here on this right hand side maybe he needs a brightness and contrast too now after adding it we of course we erase that same spot so the light only just basically like hits right there now i think on my boy's like face a little bit maybe it kind of hits like this that kind of feels like something the fact that she's so blue though the fact that tracer is so blue is hurting my brain her tone should actually be a little bit more like orangey right something like around here now she doesn't even have a shadow either now if i gave her a shadow that might help too get it really really kind of low opacity make sure you really make sure that's a dark spot like right here i don't know like we're trying but there's a little bit that doesn't make sense i think if he was actually in front of the light like if this was in front of the light you see how this like casting a shadow on my face right now should that be actually what's happening for the hamster because if he's in front of the light dude i'm just this is i didn't I didn't, go, I didn't go to school for this light stuff okay do i try to use a brightness and contrast and sort of go into it with this sort of like light just like this does that make more sense yo hold on okay hold on hold on, hold on. i think i think my brain turned on for a second does this make more sense i literally think it does all in all i think we have our moment where we kind of have that Ela hell grand finals epic head-to-head -head battle moment now frost nova and Gen uh, genesis these two things need to be in here too so right now this feels pretty good to me now obviously over here this like whole thing over here should not be happening anymore what am i going to do now to finalize this i think to finalize this we go ahead and give ourselves a nice little sort of photo filter right and i take this I give this a nice sort of like bluish, maybe a bit of a, like a reddish kind of tone here. It kind of like play, like ties it all together a little bit. So I'm going to say to myself, that was pretty dope. Now a quick visit to the linear pack on self.com since so HQ. I'm going to go ahead and just go over here and shrink this a little bit, right? Cause I don't, I don't know if it's like grunge that I want. I just like want some sort of texture to make this feel even more like just dope. Like the screen feels pretty good. Even I think linear dodge ad probably takes a cake though. Honestly, overall that I think linear dodge ad wins for me. This area here can definitely lead, you know, use a little less. I think the texture there feels pretty good. Now, if I'm not going to finalize this, one last thing I want to kind of do is we add a little bit of focus on this text here. Let's just say to ourselves, we take this, combine everything, go to filter, camera off filter, and end this baby off with some texture, some like, you know, shadows, a little bit of color correction, a little bit as well. And I think that's where I want to leave it at, like right here. To finally, finally finalize it, one simple little iris blur okay right over here i think a little bit of that looks pretty good too i don't know about you but the, i feel like that blur hits i don't know i think so like i don't yo guys i, I hate when i do this so much there's just so much that i can do when it's like really close to being done and like finalized you just want to add and add and add and to be honest i think i'm gonna lose in this battle i'm gonna keep adding i want to go ahead and say to myself i want to take his blue take his orange that he used pretty closely right and if i go over here these guys eyes right i think orange like so on his eyes and then adding this sort of like misty like eye look like it's orange versus blue blue kind of idea 
Does that make sense if I use like a motion blur? Is this a move or not? And if it's not, we're gonna say no, but let's just say it on the back of our heads that we did do it, okay? We did give it a shot, but I think this is where I wanna go ahead and end it for this sort of, I do, I can do so much more. There's just like, I have no idea what else I wanna do though. So let's go ahead and put up the before and after of Scarrows and myself. You can kind of see like, I went more of this kind of like idea of, of course, keeping and maintaining that sort of like battle head to head ratio, the face off kind of idea. And then for something on like his side, he used more of like a course or horizontal layout where I wanna go ahead and say like, I think that right hand side of his was very, very strong, but of course making it to that more poster ratio and actually maintaining that really cool idea and like making it more of a scene and an idea of just like this is gonna be an epic dope battle i think i could add even more stuff to this like tracer kind of marks i can add like dendy stars but for now i'm gonna say i'm, just, I'm gonna say i'm pretty good we're gonna leave it there and we're gonna move on to the next one and i'm pretty excited about this i don't know about you guys but i'm okay with it hopefully you guys like it too and then we're gonna move on okay so for one i turned the light on for the last actual graphic in today's video we have moon's effects with a ig layout square ratio of the master series india mobile we are ready scenario hype graphic going on with this on the first glance i think I really enjoy the actual quirkiness of it, the actual type choice. There's a lot of logos and a lot of stuff to digest. I think that's the issue in this graphic. We actually have our actual pictures in here too, which is a W. He was also testing a lot of different layouts, which I can appreciate, but squares are very, very hard to design with. So, and I personally hate it. So we'll see what I do. I think these cutouts are actually pretty good. Like I think these photos are actually not bad whatsoever. There's a little bit of like a, a little bit of a mess up when it comes to like cutting these out a little bit. The more sharper your cutout is, the more higher quality it actually looks like. So I do appreciate the lineup the way it is. Okay, these two guys are pretty short. So this guy right here is pretty short. I'm gonna put him a little bit lower like that. This to me feels pretty appropriate and nice. So let's just say this looks pretty good like so. Okay, now I really enjoyed, okay, the sort of like layout of like master's logo here. Let me take that out for myself, please. As well as this we are ready sort of like, you know, font choice. Like we are ready, we are ready to win, etc. all that good stuff. So I'm gonna say to myself, this looks pretty dope. What I wanna do immediately is kinda like add in this like black shadow right in the bottom just to get rid of a lot of the stuff that's happening on the bottom right here so far. We have this going on here. What do we get left? Well, if we get left with this, we are ready kind of text. The background itself needs to get solved too. So these names will all kind of sit like so. I think I'm gonna even change the font around a little bit too and go ahead and just make myself a little bit of white right here. We get an idea of these squiggly lines here that kind of point to the name. I'm gonna do the same thing. However, for me, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I kind of make it very sporadic and give these different lengths and sort of like different ways they're gonna get pointed at. Giving ourselves a quick look at what this asset is in the background, it's this image. And Lord, do I not want to work with that. So I'm going to say to myself, we're going to go over here and go to type in PUBG character render and see what we get. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this is probably not going to work. Hmm, maybe this one right here? I don't know what you guys do when it comes to research, but if you're not putting at least half of the time that it takes to fully complete your stuff into research, or at least like 30 minutes to an hour on just photo choices themselves, that will make or break the design. So I'm just going to say, Get to it, you know what I mean? I, I also, while I'm over here in Google, let me also find like a PUBG background. I don't know about you, but to me, the palm trees are feeling right. This still feels like PUBG. The thing is, I wanna make sure I maintain the original idea that he had here. So I think the blue needs to also happen over here as well. So I'm gonna take this blue for a second. For me, it was gonna make this look really freaking cool. And I think I wanted to throw these logos in for a second too. These feel like more sponsors than anything. So for me, I'm gonna say, boom, left-hand side, that'll be fine for now. I think where you had it is not that bad, actually. We have all these sort of like, really cool, what is this called? Like these crates here, kind of coming in with the motion blur. I'm not really sure about the motion blur, but this feels a little bit too mobile-like where it feels a little bit too kind of like 3D blendered out. So what I'm gonna do for myself to quickly hack this, is if I just add all the way texture, a little bit of clarity, a little bit of dehaze, a little bit of black, lower the entire saturation a little bit, this will feel more like it belongs in a real game. So press okay, just like so, there we go. Now it feels like it belongs right in the regular PUBG. I'm gonna take this parachute, I'm gonna throw it on this crate just like so, but like I'm still wondering how we get that contrast on ready. Now for me, I'm not too opposed, I think, by adding a little bit of drop shadow for this instance. There is a world where I personally hate drop shadow, but I think when it comes down to this, I don't wanna actually add any box 
boxes to the text exactly just because I feel like it might ruin the realness of that typeface. And I don't know about you guys, I just feel that way when it comes to typography. The tone of this red of this crate will be a nice contrast for what we do here. So something like that looks pretty nice. Their names are not that important in this, like in the grand scheme of things right here, right now, right? I think we need to just have this be a world or we just use it almost as like name tags, texture over like you need to see this information. I think that is the play here. So this feels a lot more appropriate to how it should kind of like be, be you know, like said out, right? I don't know about you guys, but like is Red not speaking to anybody else? I mean, the blue looks dope, but the red though, can we talk about that? Like, let's go over here and give these guys all a nice little quick color correction too. See, now they feel a little bit more kind of like hard styled out there. That looks really good like that. I'm gonna push them together just a little bit more so they feel a little more unified. I feel like they looked a little bit too separated. I mean, we're, we're kind of killing it right now, okay? So make a new layer for a second above this gradient. Give ourselves a nice little background hit just like so. So it feels like, you know, a, a ooh, Boom moment, right? Maybe there is a world where these plates now can then be blue because I feel like it's missing that blue. Maybe these like squiggly lines here can be red or instead we choose to make them actually like green. Maybe like ready can be in green too. That nice like navyish green or not navy, armyish green. Right, gee, Lord, okay. Well, what if the whole thing was in that green? I don't know. I don't hate it, but it doesn't feel like it's an intentional choice there. So I'm not gonna say it feels that, you know, that great. There's something that needs to happen with the we are ready. Ooh, and actually moving this little logo up here on accident for a little second this gets can get rid of this for us and i think this can be played off a lot bigger in this far right corner like so right so then it gives us an area where we want to go we are and then maybe we want to go ahead and just get a handwritten ready in here maybe it's not so much like a hand right in that because i can just throw my ipad for a second but maybe it's just actually a different font choice this is missing something and like i don't know if it's an exclamation point or like we are ready that feels a little bit too corny in my opinion maybe not that but maybe it's oh tell me we didn't need a period we are ready like puts the period down we are ready let me just tr quickly try it out with the horizontal too a little bit of skew as well can go a long way and that feels pretty good like we are ready period i'm gonna say to myself maybe it'll put a little bit more of that kind of like drop shadowy idea that we had originally it feels pretty appropriate to my in my opinion i think this is a little drop shadow though i think the drop shadow on the names can go a long way right there and also do we really do we really care about that white i think the black just feels a lot better in my opinion. I don't know about you guys. The white kind of just feels like it's almost harder to see than the black, but the black is actually be able to be seen, but then it could be ignored after you see it. You know what I mean? Like, I think it looks pretty good there. I didn't actually end up adding those PNGs that I got as well. I can actually throw them in for a second to see if we really want to. Right, like we got these two PNGs here on the top. Does this make sense to add? Probably, I mean, it gets a little noisy, but then we can really play with this like triangular, sort of like pyramid-esque idea. I mean, it doesn't look that bad at all. I kind of appreciate it a little bit. Maybe if I throw on a little more like shadows, that way it feels a little more prominent, just like over the actual background, it might feel pretty good. Right, that looks pretty freaking dope. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say to myself here, combine this together, merge it together just like so. Let's go ahead and go into a little bit of noise here as well. Now with that, I'm actually gonna say I'm gonna merge all together make it a smart object go back into camera filter for my final color correction and then i'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of grain as well like maybe like 12 or 10 just like so i want to go ahead and get rid of his acne marks here too like not all of them where it just becomes like this really big scenario of like where'd they go and like you see him in person but i think always putting up your players is definitely the move i think getting rid of a lot of the scene acne is a little bit more of a better idea like something like that i think that to me Looks pretty freaking dope. So if I'm saying I'm done, now if we go to compare my version and Moon's version, we can kind of see the scenario where I actually kept the same exact composition, but honestly, I think the blue is just a little bit too like, too much high energy contrast where it felt like the blue is just like, it's basically like using white and white and like another white and like these blacks, there's not enough actual colors and tones or so you not enough colors. You just feel like a lot more tones that are being played with. So for me, using red as a more dominant color that kind of brings more of that kind of blackish darker tone, which means the contrast is a lot more easy to digest. I think that we are ready text actually having all those kind of fonts and names kind of next to each other. Feels like this really cool, like celebratory moment. Like we are ready as a team that all feels like nice and cohesive. And then of course these nice little sort of like floating around crates are like a really good kind of like fill in which i love the idea originally so with that being said that is the end of the video here today if you guys did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and all that good stuff subscribe if you guys haven't already check out some of the other redesigning series which i hope you guys still enjoy i, I last time you guys like 
killed it with the views and all that good stuff so i appreciate that tremendously and all the likes of something like that so hopefully we went hard for this one too and you guys enjoy the outcomes with this i think honestly the first one was actually pretty good the second one might have been a little bit more better of the actual improvement ratio but we'll just see what you guys say and with that being said since hq out not to get keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive guys later much love peace and that's all i got later